introduce our next speaker, which is our uh, fantastic focal person from Bangladesh, Dr. Iqbal Masood, who is the Director of Health and Wash Sector at Dhaka Asana Mission. Uh, Iqbal has been instrumental in, in the spreading this declaration, not only in Bangladesh, but also across uh, the Asian region and internationally. So we're very happy to have you here to share. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Regina. Uh, thank you for organizing such a hearing uh, in the Asia Pacific region. Thank you, Augusto and Oreo, for excellent initiative. Uh, so Bangladesh, uh, you know, the, uh, in the not a drug producing country, it's a transit country. Uh, and very close to uh, Golden Triangle and Golden Crescent. And every year, huge uh, draft, drug traffic uh, from Bangladesh to other uh, Western and other Asian countries. So this is a big concern uh, for Bangladesh uh, government uh, uh, for uh, drug trafficking and also the traditional drugs that produce like cannabis and some liquor, uh, country liquor. And uh, now, uh, day by day, the drug uh, users is increasing and uh, the uh, high uh, income group to low income group and every segment of the society are affecting. There is no barrier and no segments are special segment for the drug users. So all segments are affected. So estimated 7 million uh, drug users in uh, Bangladesh uh, and uh, in the different department, most of the drug users are uh, youth and uh, Recent year, we observed the uh, children uh, uh, drug users are increasing in Bangladesh. So this is another alarming for uh, Bangladesh. And uh, Bangladesh drug demand reduction and drug supply reduction and uh, harm reduction is basically is focused on supply reduction. And in Bangladesh, uh, 2018, the government declared war on drug and zero tolerance. And that time, uh, the many uh, people killed uh, by the law enforcement agency uh, and you know that this is not a uh, uh, scientific and evidence was approach to drug uh, control and uh, not effective also not uh, proven by research so uh, after that uh, the government uh, is very concerned to uh, uh, su still uh, supply reduction is a focused and uh, a maximum budget allocated for the supply reduction and demand reduction is uh, less priority uh, among the government initiative as well as the civil society. You know the civil society is a hub of uh, Bangladesh is a, a thousands of civil society working for uh, socio-economic development uh, sector. But in the drug field is a very few organization working this because of the limited funding and, and government support and donor support. So this is the uh, uh, big uh, challenges uh, for the Bangladesh, uh, inconsistent uh, drug demand reduction and traditional drug demand reduction approaches like uh, some few uh, awareness program uh, is in the drug demand reduction without any uh, evaluation and research. So uh, 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 now is a very uh, uh, important time to bring this issue in the national level and, and, and in the front of the policymakers uh, to uh, uh, incorporate the evidence-based and scientific drug, drug demand reduction program in uh, national level and as well as the incorporate the civil society uh, organization. Uh, therefore, we are recommending the uniform uh, and evidence-based approaches uh, need to be taken by the uh, combining different strategies, which is uh, would focus demand reduction, supply reduction, and harm reduction, including the treatment. and. If that the OBDU declaration, the OBDU declaration is very much aligned with the UN declaration and international standard on drug use prevention of UN ODC and WHO. That's why if we promote the uh, OBDU declaration, then government will uh, listen us because that this they align with the uh, UN uh, declaration and complying with the UN uh, strategies. And uh, uh, we have some recommendation for the uh, government and as well as the uh, uh, UN organization for allocating budget, uh, more budget for the uh, drug uh, demand reduction and prevention program and mainstream the evidence-based prevention program to sustainability for the context of the sustainability and engagement of the multi-stakeholder uh, in the prevention program. You know that in the, if we made the uh, drug prevention program is a cross-cutting issue with the other development program that it can be sustainable and more uh, uh, stakeholder can be 
uh, engaged uh, for the drug prevention program. So uh, this is the right time to uh, uh, bring it uh, in the national level. And uh, if we promote the uh, OBDU declaration in a national level, that it will stop uh, counterproductive prevention program, which we are running at, pre at present, because we have no research and evaluation in our prevention program. So uh, the counterproductive uh, prevention program uh, sometimes hampers uh, our uh, uh, true prevention among the youth and children. So, and finally, we recommend for accountability and good governance uh, is the very important factors for the demand reduction program. Is a corruption is a big issue in the, in the low and middle income country. So accountability and good governance uh, need to be bring together uh, with a prevention program. Finally, the 10 principle and guiding principle of the FBDU declaration can be the way forward for the prevention program, especially for the low and middle income country like Bangladesh and others. So uh, this was my uh, few recommendations and our challenges. So hope that we can make more discussion in the global level and the country level, national level, uh, and we can engage uh, more stakeholder uh, for the future we need to engage so uh, the policymakers also need to bring together in our discussion so they can uh, incorporate this declaration and uh, guiding principle with the, their planning and uh, activities. So thank you for the organizer uh, and giving me the opportunity to talk a few words from Bangladesh. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, my friend Iqbal. Thank you for your introduction of the uh, situations on your region, on your country. It's not been easy when we have a lot of uh, fluctuations on the drug policies and, and, and politics. Uh, but I hope that the whole the declaration, together with your effort, and I know that you uh, were able to um, to involve a lot of uh, local NGOs uh, uh, coming to the declaration of Viedo. So I'm sure that all of you together can also. Uh, make efforts to um, improve the things uh, uh, on your region, country, and that the Declaration of Vieta is a very balanced approach that uh, have prevention, have um, also uh, continued care of service, and that uh, and other uh, problems like corruption, etc., that can help to, to achieve what, uh, what you went for. We can have a better drug policies as well in the region. So thank you very much, Iqbal. And our next speaker, uh, it will be from Japan.